Welcome back to another episode of Top 5 and 5 where I take you through all of the action from Europe's top 5 leagues this past weekend. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Been a while since I've uploaded, since Chelsea's games have really been cancelled and there hasn't been so, so much going on. I didn't upload Top 5 and 5 last week because the Premier League was cancelled and that's a main chunk of this show. But I'm back here again ahead of the international break to give you guys another episode and there was a lot of crazy action, so let's get right into it. Starting off, as always, with the Premier League, Spurs smash Leicester 6-2. Despite opening the scoring after just six minutes through a retaken Telemans penalty, Leicester weren't able to keep a hold of this game. They conceded twice and then they got an equalizer just before halftime, but conceded just two minutes after the start of the second half. And then the game was sealed through a human son half trick off of the bench. By the way, those are his first three goals that he scored so far this season. Leicester are still without any wins so far in the Premier League and they have five consecutive losses. Could they be in trouble this season? Arsenal beat Brentford 3-0, showing another convincing display. They currently sit top of the Premier League table. Could they actually be title contenders this season? And one of the most entertaining parts of this game actually came after the match when Gabriel tweeted, nice kick about with the boys, referencing an Ivan Tony tweet from the previous year when Brentford beat Arsenal 2-0. Moving over to La Liga, all of the talk of the weekend was about the Madrid derby where Real Madrid continued their unbeaten winning streak in La Liga beating Atletico de Madrid two goals to one. Atletico de Madrid were actually quite dominant in the opening 15 to 20 minutes of the game and had a couple of good opportunities and Real Madrid scored their first goal completely against the run of play. It was a great ball from Valverde to Chouameni who had a beautiful assist and Rodrigo just had a ridiculous finish to get their first goal. The second one came from an incredible Vinicius Jr. run. He hit the post and then Valverde fired the shot home. Personally, I was very happy to see Vinicius Jr. dancing as well with Rodrigo and the rest of the team. In one of the strangest cameo appearances ever, Mario Hermoso scored a goal to get one back for Atletico, only to get sent off eight to 10 minutes later through a second yellow. Strange. What did you guys make of this one? Elsewhere in La Liga, could Real Betis be the dark horse this season? They beat Gerona 2-1. to one. Borja Iglesias scored a brace, moving him up to six goals so far this season, only behind Robert Lewandowski for Barca, who also scored a brace at the weekend to ensure that Barca took all three points. In Serie A, the big fixture of the weekend was AC Milan versus Napoli. Napoli were able to get the win and beat AC Milan two goals to one, away from home, moving to three points clear on top of the Serie A table. Roma, Inter and Juventus all lost this weekend, making the Serie A table extremely exciting. We don't know who's going to take those top spots. As it stands now, Napoli and Atalanta top the table with 17 points. Udinese have 16 points. Lazio Milan are on 14. Roma has 13. Inter have 12 and Juventus have 10. And with only one win in their last five, could we see Max Allegri get the and could Thomas Tuchel, who is on the market looking for a job, potentially fill in there? What are your thoughts on this one? Moving over to League One, Nice made history by receiving the fastest red card ever since Opta started collecting the data in 2006. Jean-Claire Toledo was sent off after just nine seconds after it was deemed that he prevented a clear goal scoring opportunity. I personally thought that this was a yellow, but what do you guys think about this one? Elsewhere in France, PSG beat Lyon one goal to nail Neymar assisted Leo Messi for the goal. That puts Neymar up to eight goals and seven assists in eight games this season in Liga, which is just insane. Then finally, moving over to the Bundesliga, could Union Berlin be a dark horse and win the Bundesliga this year? They beat Wolfsburg two goals to nil to go top of the Bundesliga table, sitting five points ahead of Bayern Munich currently. Bayern lost 1-0 versus Augsburg.
Pittsburgh at the weekend despite having 77% possession and six shots on target. What was your favorite match of the weekend? I think mine was the Atletico de Madrid versus Real Madrid game. I just felt that there was so much passion. I thought that we were going to see a red card. I didn't think it was going to come from the Mimoso, but there was just a lot going on in that game. But what was your favorite moment? From this weekend's past action let me know in the comments down below obviously next week there will be no top five and five since it's the international break but i'll be back when the action is back if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop it a like comment and interact with it and hit that subscribe button to keep following my content hope that you guys enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day evening whatever time you're watching this and until next time i'm out bye